Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So like I promised, today we have the first part of The Lost and Damned. And so for people that are unfamiliar with this, this is actually a story expansion for GTA 4. GTA 4 had two different story expansions. You had The Lost and Damned, The Ballad, both where you played as different characters. And all three of their stories, Nico's story, Johnny's stories, and Luis's story, they're all kind of interconnected. And I'll be explaining that as we go through them. So in this part, we'll be playing The Lost and Damned. I got um kind of a biker jacket for this playthrough and also I have some lore videos coming up so I still have some GTA 4 lore videos like the Playboy video and the um, Dimitri video those will be coming up but I'm also gonna be doing the Lost and Damned so I hope you guys enjoy this one let's start this up the Lost and Damned and there we go the Lost and Damned theme that's Jim I like how they have their own text for this too. So this is basically a biker DLC, um, and it's actually really cool. <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. Come on, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. I'm gonna push you down these stairs. Come on, watch out. Watch out. I got a man in a chair. All right, everybody, come on. Break it up. Let's go. That's the main character right there, Johnny. A lot of you guys might recognize him from GTA 5. Now the Lost, um, the vast majority of them, they're actually not from um, Liberty City, they're actually from Alderney, which is um, based on New Jersey. Now this part here, Nico. But the thing is, that doesn't make a little bit of sense. I mean, it's cool, but Nico wouldn't have been an Aldering at this point in the story. Brian Jeremy, club secretary. Harry Thorpe, um, sergeant at arms. Jason Michaels, enforcer. Clay, road captain. You know, all three of these um, stories, Nico's story, um, uh, The Lost and Damned, and also um, The Ballad, all of them, they all got a, um, uh, they all got a great intro. You do understand what probation means? Uh... Yes, sir. It means that if you continue down that same path, you'll be locked up and calling some cellmate daddy within a month. Yes, sir. If I had it my way, we wouldn't waste our time. You'll be inside already. Mr. Gray has made great progress. His share on willfulness was one of the most powerful things I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I believe in this man. Well, let's hope you don't live to regret that faith. God? Works in mysterious ways. <laughs> in this case, seems God is downright perverse. But I'll leave the salvation to you, gentlemen. You stay out of trouble. Yes, Daddy. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Billy. Remember, it's a disease. I know, Chad, I know. It's a disease. Meetings every day. 
Call you if I feel the need to use. Pray. I pray. In fact, I'm praying right now. You're very willful. Was very willful, Chad. Was very willful. I've changed. And you know what, Chad? You changed me. Gentlemen, shall we get the fuck out of here? Hey, stay in touch. That counselor is such an idiot. Yo. Oh my god. Here you go. It's about time. So Billy, um, this guy here, he's the chapter chapter president of the Lost MC, the, basically the leader. Sweet home. <laughs> So, um, basically what Rockstar is making fun of there is that Holy these counselors are a lot of times idiots. Up in a country club. How were things in there? You know, John Boy, it was kind of hard. Harder than you think. I don't know what I'd rather go back to. Stents in the hall or a group of shared cluster fucks in that place. Okay. Whether it's train gangs in the showers or grown men crying and hugging in rehab, there's definitely an undeniable twinge of homosexuality in this fine country's correctional system. No wonder you keep getting caught then, Billy. You can't stay away from it. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I keep getting caught because assholes like you ain't watching out for me. Don't question me. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, Billy. Okay, I'll save my questions until I see the chapter. And you better have looked after my baby. And um, each um, one of the characters you see there, they have health bars, and they actually get upgraded over time, which is actually kind of cool. And so Billy, the chapter president, has been in prison for some time, and he just got probation because this um, uh, back, this religious counselor. And the thing is, these these counselors they exist in real life, and it's kind of, Rockstar's kind of making a parody off of them. Where, um, uh, the counselors, they'll sometimes, like, interview, like, you know, somebody that's been in prison for some time, and they'll, you know, try to vouch for them to have parole or probation. And a lot of times, you know, these criminals, you know, they're master manipulators, and they can manipulate these counselors, and basically that counselor was a bit of a moron. So, um, Billy clearly hasn't changed, but the counselor believed he has. Come on, let him up, him up brother. Yes, sir. Johnny, what's going on? Not much, Bill. The usual stuff. We missed you, Bill. So... Take it for a fucking drink here. Amiguito. Come on, just pour a Willy wet back. Boys, salute wet you motherfuckers. Salute. <laughs> okay, oh, another oh, round oh, for you. Goddamn oh. right. Mm. Yummy. So, Johnny boy, where's my bike? You know where it is. Let me rephrase the question. Where the fuck is my bike and where the fuck haven't you got it back for me? Because you know where it is. Are you deaf? Give me that whiskey. Are you fucking deaf? No. Then answer the goddamn question. Why the fuck haven't you got it back for me, friend brother? One word. Business. Like I told you when you were in there. Or were you so busy playing holier than thou, you started believing your own bullshit? Oh, forgive me. You know, I've had a complicated few weeks. I can only imagine, Bill. Shut up, Brian. You know, coming off heroin's kind of hard. I think I acquired this touch of amnesia. What business is more important, Mr. 1980s yuppie big shot, than your best friend's bike when he's close to getting a 15 year stretch? The business that pays his lawyer's fees. The business that puts food on all of our tables. The business that we are all in while you're out pretending to be saved. Get my bike! What am I, your fucking dog? I told you we should have gotten the bike. You told me? You told me you don't tell me shit, you little fuck! Listen, Billy. They were pissed, and they had a reason. Your bike chopped that girl's leg off. You put Joe John's nephew in a coma. The deadbeats kept the bike, and we needed the money. You needed some balls. Ugh. Some fucking heart. Something. I can't believe I'm hearing this shit. Yeah. And I can't believe I'm hearing this. After everything we did for you, paid your rehab, paid your lawyer's fees, paid your rent, Paid everything. Shit, we set stuff up for you. We do well, man, but it's time to be smart. You're right, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run right out and buy a condo, get a mortgage, 401k, and then fold that over into an IRA and a CD. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Be smart, you be smart, you fucking chump. You're ridiculous. 
Have you got a health care plan? Come on, Johnny, let's just get his bike. Come on. Well, on your head be it. It always is. It's called leadership. Shit meaning something. Yeah, and your shit means a lot, man. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Wait, come here. Listen, man. I'm a little pin up right now. You saw that shit I had to go through, right? It was really frustrating. Fucked up shit. Craziness, right? Okay, so I'm a little pissed off and I've been a bit of a prick lately. But come on, man. You and Angus built that bike for me? That's gotta stand for something. Yeah, you're right, brother. I'm gonna go get it. And you know what? Peace and prosperity be damned. Peace and prosperity be damned, my brother. You are my brother, Johnny. Always. Let's so go. you can tell that Billy is a bit a bit of a parasite and he's a master manipulator. He's just taking advantage of all of them. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. Brothers aren't meant to be this close, Johnny, but we're gonna have to be until I get my bike back. Right to the chop shop, okay. And there's actually a lot of different guns in this DLC compared to uh, GTA 4, like the Sun Off shotgun. Yeah, well, I ain't too happy about it neither, man. You wanna turn around and go back to the clubhouse? I'm happy about it, alright, John Boy. Fuck after that therapy shit, the drink in the road's all I need. Good to know. You've been missing me all that time I spent sharing and caring and rehab? Let's get your bike and save the emotions for later. You know what, Johnny? You could do with some of the trust exercises they got in there. I'm gonna blindfold you when we get back. All you gotta do is fall over and trust that your brothers are gonna catch you. <laughs> Can you do that? You boys will be too drunk to catch VD, let alone 230 pounds of rapidly approaching middle age. Technically, you are 230 pounds of Jewish biker, John Boy. Your faith has gotta come first. Religion, Billy. Religion. I gave up with faith. Johnny the Jew, Clements the he. Good to be here, man. Good to fucking be here. What's your problem? Here? Nothing, man. I'm the leader of the chapter again, Johnny. And you're just another brother. Can you handle it? As long as you run the chapter right, we can all handle it. I'll run it the way it needs to be run. Same as the three guys before me did. Same as I'm doing now. Really? Feels kind of different. Before, all we cared about was having fun. Brothers, getting shit-faced. Screw you, you get in our way, you're gonna get your teeth kicked in. Thank you for sharing. And now what's it feel like to you, Jonathan? Feels like knocking heads is a full-time job. Maybe if we stop doing it for a minute, we'd look around and realize that the fun ended a long time ago. Yeah? Well, I signed up to be a brother for life, you ungrateful fuck. If you're in the loss for the good times only, fair weather weekends and the careways, then you ain't in the loss. You get me? Chill out, man. I just hope when we decide to take a break, to slow down, that it's still an option on the table. These don't run. So notice how um, uh, Johnny said, as long as you run the chapter right, and Billy says, I'll run it the way it needs to be run, not don't worry, I'll run it right. So, you know, he's just gonna run it the, the way that he sees fit for himself, not what's good for the, um, the chapter. And so, you know, this, this game and GTA 4 and The Ballad, they all have really great dialogue. It's just a shame what they did to Johnny in GTA 5, I really don't like that. But I do love this DLC a lot, and it means a lot to me, too. When this DLC came out, oh man, this was like, uh, people were so excited for this when this came out. This is the joint. Pretty boy. Hey! Where's the bike? Oh, it's good to see you too, tough guys. Uh, what bike are you talking about exactly? You know what we're talking about? Billy's bike. Billy's bike? <laughs> Jesus, man. It's been a long time. I thought he was dead. What's he wanted for? To sell for crack, right? Hey? Shut up. Listen, you know how it is. Things passed hands. Parts been changed up. Hard to say if that chopper's even around anymore. Sorry, boys. You will be, my friend. You will be. Hey! Good to see you, Bill. Man, I, I thought you was dead. Jim, start up the bike. Whoa, hold on. Oh, oh, wait, please, please. No, now this, no. No, 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 no. Where is my ah, bike? Ah, no. 
speak, you ugly fuck! Okay, listen. Ah, the angels of death took it to their place in Northwood. What the fuck? The angels of death. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh. You know, the first time I played this mission, I actually had the exact same reaction that Johnny did when he says to Billy here. The Angels of Death Hangout. You didn't have to do that. He told you who had the bike. Exactly. You really got south, haven't you, Johnny? You know, you could do with a stretch in the joint. Might harm you up. Whatever. What about an eye for an eye and all that shit? You should have been the one making that guy pay for holding out. Enough with that shit. We got more things to worry about than respect. That wasn't an eye for an eye. Stuff. We gotta keep business afloat or we're fucked. You just don't get it, do you? This is what it's about. This. Not that money shit. We're in it to stick it to all those yuppies and hippies and motherfucking deadbeats. Give me a stiff drink, some hard drugs, the road in my chopper, that's all I need. Maybe an occasional bit of a hole. Wouldn't be a man if I didn't need that now, would I? How's Ashley, by the way? She's single? What about your brothers, man? Ain't you in it for the lost? Everything I do is about the lost. I don't exist without my brothers, without you. If you don't get that, then you don't get nothing, John Boy. Is that state of affairs? Yeah, well, it's some tough love you're showing them. So, um, basically, um, Billy's bike had caused some kind of accident that cut um, a girl's leg off. It's not really explained, but they, the lost ended up selling the bike to the um, Angels of Death, their rivals. And the Angels of Death, these guys are based on the Hells Angels, a real uh, motorcycle gang. And, um, and so they had a peace treaty, but now, um, but now they're going to war. And so this is one of the new guns in the Lost and Damned, which is the, the, the Sun-Off shotgun. They brought this gun back in the, um, in the GTA Online, um, uh, uh, Bikers DLC with the, uh, the Sun-Off shotgun, the dull barreled shotgun, I should say. But I believe that in GTA Online, whenever you fire this gun in GTA Online, it's actually, um, you fire both barrels at once, which is kind of stupid. Um, I, I, you should, it should let you fire one barrel at a time, or even, um, both barrels if you want, but it shouldn't force you to fire both barrels always. Okay. Me up, brothers. We're heading for a drink. Okay, so Billy got his bike back. Welcome home, Bill. We're right behind you. Do I have audio turned on on this? Oh, I don't. Um. Sound of music, I meant. Um. So now we follow him, and um. Uh, if you actually stay in the badge, I believe that that actually heals your bike and it actually brings back health, which that brought they brought that back in GT Online. So yeah, you see the little logo here? If you stay in that, you'll, um... Yeah, so my health just came Jason, back a little bit. I haven't seen you around much, man. Yeah, but fucking this Russian broad broker gets a psycho daddy real mad. He gives you trouble. You'll have to start worrying about the whole chapter. Tell him that, then we'll see how psycho he is. So notice that guy right there, Jason, um, uh, he says he's meeting with a Russian girl in Broker. Now you know where that's from, from GTA 4. Remember early on the, in the uh, story, with Nico's mission for Boston? Which that's the same Jason. Now that Billy's back. Fuck me, Terry. That's her call. It's a free country. I don't know where you've been living, pal. Us brothers are the only free people I see. And the, what I'm actually surprised by... Hey, Billy! 
How's is... How's it feel to be on the old bike, man? Like when your wife is screwing a neighbor. You wanna be up all night turning her back to normal? You're gonna be up all night fucking and getting high. Bike will wait till morning. So, like, what I'm actually surprised by is that generally the AI in this game, they have good driving. So, like, you know, Rockstar did program the, um, the biker NPCs to actually drive well. Sometimes, you know, they'll occasionally, like, scratch cars or hit something. But, um, they actually drive pretty well for the most part. Okay, Bill. Got your bike. Take what you gotta take. Drink what you gotta drink, fuck what you gotta fuck. I don't care. Kill who you gotta kill, but get it out of your system. Hmm. And when you do, give me a call and we'll get back to business. You're not my P.O., brother. Remember who the head of this chapter is. I do, man. Trust me. Tell me, do you still have Ashley's phone number? Why don't you give her a call for me? Tell her I'm inside getting all sorts of fucked up. And that I would really like s I mean, we, meaning all of us, would love some whole. You see what a scumbag Billy is. Um, Ashley is actually um, Johnny's ex-girlfriend. But Johnny still has somewhat feelings for her. So, like, this game has, um, uh, the big clubhouse that you can walk around in. And they brought the clubhouses back in GTA, um, online, but, uh, I think the clubhouse is just a lot more fun in this one. I believe the club also has a pool table. So they have cards, um, they have pool, arm wrestling. Pay respects to fallen comrades. And this is Johnny's safe house in the clubhouse. He has like one room that he sleeps in. There's actually a computer in there too. What's happening, Johnny? I think I need a new bike. Watch the latest shows on TV. I'm still, you know, before most people had flat screens. This is 2008. Johnny's Hex Hex Hexus, the only one of its kind ever to see. Modern classic chopper with a 2032 cc twin cam engine, six-speed transmission. Johnny will need the bike to ride in convoys with other lost bikers. You can save any vehicle in the parking space outside your safe house. Okay. So like this DLC is very different from GTA 4 because GTA 4, where it's like you know um uh. GTA 4 where it's basically you, um, uh, Nico's a, a gun for hire, um, lone gunman. This is, um, uh, you know, in this DLC, usually you, you have people that back you up constantly, and you can call for backup, so this is more like, you know, a team thing. You're part of the Lost MC. So they see all the characters got upgraded a little bit. Let me, um, let me turn down the, uh, um, music volume, because if I go in here when the, the heavy metal is playing, I'm gonna get a copyright claim. But this is the, um, uh, this is the clubhouse. Are you mentally challenged? No, I can phone Jim to... Uh, and you can, uh, yeah, and there's, like, a new activity here also. You got air hockey. Um, if I remember correctly, you can call a lot of the characters. Hey, Jim, what's up? Same old bullshit, Johnny. Can you come and meet me on Aspidin over an actor? All right, brother. I'll be there. And I think you can call Angus also on a lot of the missions. Johnny, my brother. Hey, Angus. You seen much of Billy yet? I seen him, yeah, not much though. Well, dude, what do you think? Is he on top of his shit or is he gonna run this club into a hole? He's gonna run himself into some hole. I know that. 
that. Shit, he really doesn't really talk to me. I mean, he'd hardly make eye contact since I got hurt. That's because you're way down in your chair, Angus, and it's hard to see you. <laughs> Damn sight funny if I didn't think it was true, John. Billy doesn't see anything that he don't wanna. He'll see anything within smoking, fucking, and drinking proximity, but he won't see the two-ton oh, truck bearing down on him. I get you, man. Later on. I think you might be able to call Ashley also. Let's see. Johnny, thought you'd never call. Yeah, we haven't seen one another in a long time. I just see you in my dreams, sugar. Come on, Ash. Give it up. You seriously got time to dream in between your three-day ice binges? What's up, Johnny? How you like having Billy back? I like it fine. Look, I gotta go. Take care of yourself. And so I got a computer here. And Johnny also gets his own emails, too. Um... Ashley, man... Uh, I messed things up, I know I did, but you weren't a saint, you weren't, um, you're who, who you are, and you do bad things, and hanging out with you made me do bad things, even though it ain't your fault, but I did bad s stuff to you because you were my world. I thought you would kill me and you didn't, so that makes you a better person than some. I'm, I'm so glad we are friends now, it makes me happy to know you're on my side, and even though we ain't together, and we both m messed this up, we are at least friends. I'm off the drugs, Johnny boy, I'm off them. I don't want to get high no more. Not ever, I'm s sorting myself out. I'm even exercising. I went running yesterday, I was nearly a model. One time I'm going to go to college or something, give back, I miss you. It, it won't never be the same without you, but it's the way it's gotta be. I know that, we both did bad things, and we hurt each other, and people who love each other ain't meant to hurt each other. Yours, Ash. Now, I really don't like Ashley, um, I think she's the most garbage character in the entire, um, GTA universe, and I'll explain why she's just a bad character later on, but I'm gonna reply negatively to this. I ain't in the mood for internet chit-chat, Ash. Have a nice life, Johnny. Johnny, man. So they let him out. Ridiculous in some ways. Man, it's tough. I, I love my brothers, all of them, but they're... There's brothers who stood by me, you, Jim, Clay, and a few others, and brothers who said they would. And I think we know which camp Billy and Brian fall into. This is my life now. I can't ride into the sunset. I can't ride into anything. I'm stuck in a chair, and I need money. I need it. So we have to keep making it. It's tough. I hope Billy uh, doesn't mess it up for all of us. He nearly did last time. We are a small crew. We can't beat the deadbeats, but we can live alongside them. Billy will come out and go on a rampage, and Brian and those other clowns will drag us all along. It ain't gonna be good. It's just a question how bad. So Angus is the guy that's in the wheelchair. Um, you know, he had some kind of accident. I don't think it was explained where he's paralyzed so he can't ever ride a motorcycle anymore, but he's a good guy. So we're gonna reply positively to him. I hear you, brother. Whatever happens, uh, you know me and you are brothers. Completely risk-free, clear your debts in less than 30 days, 100% success rate. Are you drowning in debt? Getting harassed by creditors, struggling to pay your bills on time, scared to answer the phone. You hide every time the doorbell rings. Can you imagine eliminating all your outstanding debt? Can you imagine all the people you owe money to floating face down in their backyard pool with no explanation? Can you imagine never making another payment again? Kill debt, dead. Kill debt, dead.com. What a ridiculous spam email. Dear Mr. Klebitz, as a valued bank of, of Liberty customer, we would like to inform you that online access for your account has expired. For your convenience, we ask that you provide us with the following information so that we provide banking services um, can be reactivated. Account number, login password, mother's maiden name, first pet's name, social security number. We thank you for your understanding and apologize for any inconvenience. Best regards, Tina Brant Brannigan. Yeah, it's clearly a scam. Um, uh, it's, it's Rockstar's, Rockstar makes fun of everything, even like spam emails. So it's this, this is clearly a scam. No one is gonna, and the thing is stuff like this is real, uh, exist in real life. Nobody is gonna email you from like a bank telling you email us your password and your login details and your account number. There's also that PayPal fraud that goes around. Oh, you know, you lost access to your PayPal account. You know, give us your email and your password. It's a scam. Never fall for that stuff, guys. You ever get emails like that, just delete it or, or even better, report the email. So I guess we'll leave it off here for the first part, guys. The first mission's a bit of a bit long because of all the driving. On the next part, we'll be covering the gang war that Billy starts with the Angels of Death. So I hope you guys enjoy this DLC. I really do like this DLC. It's um, one of my favorite DLCs of all time. I think the Ballad and the Lost and Damned are probably my favorite video game DLCs of all time, actually. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.